Hi, my name is John Day. I'm a chemical engineer here at the Kansas City National Security Campus, and I work a lot in our polymer engineering group. So today we're going to show you a nice little fun activity to do with your kids uh, involving miscibility. Tell your kids, hey, do you think these two liquids will mix together? And they might say, yes, they do. And so you do this fun activity with them to show them that not always two liquids mix. So we're going to start with a little water here in our jar. And the amount of more water really does not matter. Just you know, go for it. Have your kids do it. Add a couple drops of food coloring because kids and colors, awesome. And I'll take my little spoon here. Get a nice little mix and move that egg out the way. Awesome. And then here comes the fun part. Take a little cooking oil that you might have in your pantry. Screw off the top. Ours is brand new, sorry. And just pour it in. And at this point say, hey, do you think it's gonna mix? Just let it sit there for a second. And as you see, the oil starts to rise up to the top here. We'll add a little more, just so you can see the difference. And then here you can talk to your kids about, well, why doesn't it mix? Well, water is called polar, so that means that the mo polar molecules like to stick together. And then your oil at the top is a nonpolar molecule. So polar and nonpolar, they really don't like each other. So that's why the water and the oil separate. And so you have two distinct layers here. And so then you say, hey, can you make a mix? So you just put the top on really tight and have your kids give it a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. And then just wait. Hey, it looks mixed, but in a couple minutes, you'll start to see the oil rise right back up to the top. As we wait just a little bit, you see a lot of bubbles forming, and the oil is slowly making its way all the way up to the top. It's a fun activity as long as your kids are very patient. <laughs> all right, so it's starting to separate now. And then, so that's a good point to say, well, can we make these two things mix? They don't like each other, but what can we add? So for this, we'll add what's called an emulsifier and a surfactant. So what this does is this has a side in the chemical structure that likes the water, and some one side of the chemical also likes the oil. So what it does, it makes everybody happy, so it just, we all get along. So for this, we're going to crack one egg. We are going to separate the egg. So what we want here is just the yolk. So it might get a little messy, so lay down some paper towels if you have them, or you know, have a fun cleaning experiment afterwards. So we're gonna drop the yolk in, and then we're gonna put the lid back on the jar. And as you can see, the two liquids are still starting to separate. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give it a real good shake. And if you do not have any eggs in your house, a normal dish soap will work just as well. So you give it a good shake, and what you'll see are a lot of tiny little bubbles. It's so small that it looks like it's completely mixed in one big solution, but in reality, what the egg has done, it has surrounded your oil, and it has made it real happy in the water. And so now these two liquids are miscible because we added the egg yolk into it or you add your dish soap. And that's just a nice, fun, simple miscibility study to do with your kids.